Hello! Today, we are going to guide you through Mercedes-Benz's incredible 126-year history. From 1896 to 1948. The history of Mercedes-Benz trucks dates back to 1896, when Carl Benz and Gottlieb Daimler introduced their first truck concept of motorized goods vehicle designed to carry 600 kilograms, but its final payload was 1.5 tons and it was driven by two-cylinder Phoenix engine rated at 4 horsepower. In 1897, just one year after Gottlieb Daimler invented the truck, they were able to showcase a vehicle with a payload of 5 tons. The new 5-ton truck was used for the first time to transport building materials. In 1927, Mercedes-Benz presented its first diesel engine, which immediately became a sensation. It was the world's first six-cylinder diesel engine, installed on the commercial vehicle, also known as the first-generation L1, L2, and L5. Also from 1927, Mercedes-Benz offered the more powerful six-cylinder petrol engines, M16, M26, and M36, developing 50 horsepower, 70 horsepower, and 100 horsepower. Post-war production was quickly getting back on its feet. The provisionally improvised L4500 with its square wooden cab was born at the heavily destroyed Gaginal factory. Following came the L5000 with 112 horsepower 5-speed gear and a top speed of 62 kilometers per hour. From 1949 to 1972. Launched in 1949, the best-selling L3250 was one of the tough pragmatists that helped the Federal Republic of Germany, which was founded in the same year, set course for the economic miracle on the Rhine. In order to generate a mere 145 horsepower at the beginning of the 1950s, it took more than 4.6 liters of displacement, delivered by the 1949 OM312 diesel engine. As a further milestone, the L6600 with a higher payload of 6,600 kilograms was the first new development at Mercedes-Benz in 1950. The L6600, a vehicle fully focused on the heavy-duty class, with its 145 horsepower and 8.3-liter OM315 pre-chamber diesel engine, was produced at the Gaginal plant. By the mid-1950s, heavy two-axle dump trucks, such as the LK6600, were added to the range. However, it took until the 1960s before Mercedes-Benz also manufactured three-axle vehicles for construction. As a compromise on wheels, the new Mercedes-Benz short-nosed trucks, first introduced in March 1959, were born. New and particularly rigid regulations in terms of the dimensions and weights introduced by the Minister of Transport, Seebohm, brought the end to traditional long-nosed trucks, which, with their imposing noses, were suddenly accused of wasting space at the expense of the loading space. The new short-nosed vehicle came in three weight classes. The L322, designed for a gross vehicle weight of 10.5 tons, was a typical medium-duty truck, intended primarily for local transport and for jobs that were not too heavy in the construction industry. With a total weight of 12.0 tons, the factory also added the heavier L327 in spring 1959, which used this capacity to exploit the maximum permissible total weight in accordance with Seabohm's regulations. From 1973 to 1995, 4x4 and 6x6 axle configurations were now also available as COE trucks until the new generation in 1973 brought a completely new and clearly structured model range to the previously somewhat unstructured heavy-duty truck range. The Mercedes NG74 was the newly developed 4x4 with 320 horsepower and a 6-speed gearbox. From 1980, the vehicles of the new generation would be available with revised modular engines in V design, as NG80 with optionally 6, 8, or 10 cylinders. A third and final revision took place in 1985. The OM442 engine installed in the NG85 was the first diesel engine in the world for a truck to have an electronic engine control unit. As of 1987, the NG85 was also available as a four-axle vehicle, with 8x8 axle configuration. Mercedes-Benz built two four-axle models, the 3528AK with an OM422 naturally aspirated V8 engine, and the 3535AK with an OM442A turbocharged V8 engine without an intercooler. Both vehicles were designed for a permissible gross mass of 35,000 kilograms. Next came the model Mercedes-Benz SK in 1989. The Mercedes-Benz SK were available with the ever-popular OM44X series engines, 
with their robust cast iron blocks, much like their predecessor engines, were specifically very popular in harsh hot desert climates due to their large displacements and low operating temperatures. The SK was produced from 1989 until 1998. From 1996 to 2010. The first Mercedes-Benz Actros generation was introduced in 1996 for the 100th anniversary of the truck invented by Gottlieb Daimler in 1896, marked the start of a series that remains one of the leaders in its segment to this day. The new Actros generation was a replacement for the SK model, available in weights starting at 18 tons and was powered by an inline-six diesel engine with turbocharger and intercooler. The fact that every Actros generation was awarded the title of International Truck of the Year by commercial vehicle journalists from all over Europe has also proven the extraordinary success of this model. In 2003, an automated gearshift system was installed as standard when the second Actros generation was introduced for construction vehicles. Drivers were delighted about the new ergonomic interior with its high-quality appearance and workmanship. Operators have been appreciating maintenance intervals that are twice as long as before. A minor update came to the Actro series in 2008, including a new radiator grille, new lights and mirrors. From 2011 to 2021. Then in 2011, it was time for big news. A completely newly developed Mercedes-Benz Actros, also known as Actros 4. Lots of adjustments had been added. 11 different cabs were now offered, with different sizes and designed for the type of transport it would be used for. They have more storage space than the previous cabs, a heater, and several seat options. The Actros MP4 is equipped with six-cylinder engines with outputs ranging between 238 horsepower and 625 horsepower. The Actros variant for construction, the Arox, was introduced at Bama in 2013. The Arox range includes all trucks and semi-trailer tractors for on- and off-road operation within the construction sector. Mercedes-Benz developed the Arox series especially for the construction industry. A new Actros was introduced in Berlin on September 5, 2018. The truck is equipped with the new Active Brake 5 system and allows semi-autonomous driving with the smart system called the Active Drive Assist. One of the innovations that stood out the most during the presentation is the one about the rear-view mirrors, replaced by cameras. This system, called Mirror Cam, in addition to the comfort it brings to drivers, should limit thefts. From 2021 to now. As part of its electrification strategy, Mercedes-Benz Trucks plans to offer electric vehicles in all its main sales regions by 2022. Mercedes-Benz Trucks was the world's first manufacturer to present a heavy-duty electric truck at the IAA Commercial Vehicles Show in 2016. With the all-electric e-Actros truck, Mercedes-Benz Trucks is demonstrating that heavy-duty distribution transport for urban areas can already be locally emission-free. The e-Actros, which has a range of approximately 200 kilometers, has been proving its worth as a locally CO2-neutral alternative for urban distribution transport. They plan to have the e-Actros long haul ready for series production in 2024. Its range on one battery charge will be approximately 500 kilometers. The Mercedes-Benz Gen H2 truck, which today had its world premiere as a concept vehicle, marks the beginning of fuel cell drive. With the Gen H2 truck, Mercedes-Benz Trucks is demonstrating for the first time which specific technologies the manufacturer is driving forward at full speed so that heavy-duty fuel cell trucks can perform flexible and demanding long-distance haulage operations with ranges of up to 1,000 kilometers and more on a single tank of hydrogen. It will be exciting to follow Mercedes-Benz history for the next 100 years and see what they come up with of unique and innovative solutions. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe for much more.